All right, I have the most awesome, the most amazing, the never spoken of, completely secretive hack that you've never heard of for Photoshop that is going to completely change your life. Yeah. Also, if you're watching this video, this is my first 4K video on my channel. How's it look? Do I look, do I look crispy? Do I look nice? 4K or not, uh, well, I just wanna like start messing around with it, start seeing how it works. So you'll see that introduced season added a little bit to my videos. As far as that hack, let's start talking about this. Yes, this, what is this? It's an iPhone, an iPhone what? iPhone 10 R. Now, specifically for the iPhone 10 R, this is more of a thing, more of an issue for the iPhone 10 R. Some might think of it as an issue, some might think of it as just a change. Whatever iPhone model you have that's pretty much the 10, that's after the eight, you're gonna go ahead and notice this difference. And what that difference is, is that when you take a photo on this guy, it doesn't show up as a JPEG anymore. It's different. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that difference. We're gonna talk about what that difference means. And we're gonna talk about how to go ahead and change that difference super quickly, super effectively in Photoshop. So you don't have to worry about all the issues that come with having that specific file format. Let's get it done. Okay, so what I wanna do right now is just take some test photos with my actual iPhone 10 so that you guys can go ahead and see what I'm talking about. This, it's really not a setting. It's not, I mean, there is a setting, but as far as default and being added, if you got an update, a software update for your iPhone 10, it was something that sort of was added by default by Apple. You could go ahead and turn off your settings, and we'll talk about that in a second. But right now, I'm just going to show you. It's just a regular interface. Nothing different is happening on your screen. Everything looks as normal, but you'll just notice it in the in the name, the extension of the actual file. So when you look at your file, it'll say like image 99 whatever or image you know a bunch of numbers pretty much and usually after that it says dot jpeg and that's not happening this time instead of saying dot jpeg it says dot h e i c and uh we'll explain what that means in a second so here i am on my phone take a picture of my camera real quick Boop. this is just like the regular interface that you're used to bam uh these shoes look nice bam how about how about that sun bam get these shoes over here bam take a selfie with my camera bam all right let's take these photos back inside and I'll show you guys exactly what I actually mean what I'm talking about and how of course to fix the issue okay so now we're back and we're gonna go ahead and look at those files so bring over your finder plug in a hard drive should always Always save your data on a hard drive. So we got a hard drive right here. We're gonna go ahead and airdrop our files to our computer. You wanna make sure you're airdropping them, not texting them, because when you text a file to, com to your computer, if you're trying to do it like through iMessenger or something, you're gonna lose quality on that photo. Anything that gets text pretty much gets compressed, and once it gets compressed, it then gets sent to a smaller file. But if you airdrop it, you don't lose any of that information at all. Let's go ahead and select all the pictures that we took. I'll select the, the screen recordings too, but that's irrelevant. Wanna airdrop it to yourself. Boom. Go to your downloads. And we got all our files right here. Now notice, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You have the image underscore 3373 dot H-E-I-C file. That usually, what we're used to most of the time is PNG or JPEG. Those are the files that you usually see as far as pictures. This file is new as of like this year. H-E-I-C which pretty much stands for High Efficiency Image File Format. And it's just Apple's new way as of iOS 11 to make sure that they can save as much information as possible into a much smaller file so that you have uh, more information and a smaller file type than JPEG. Now there aren't a lot of issues with this 
if you're just having it on your Mac computer or if you're gonna go ahead and have it on your phone. The issues lie when you try to upload photos. Um, if you try to upload a photo, I've noticed on eBay or through email, that is where you go ahead and have the issue. That's where the, com where the compatibility issue is actually seen. So if you try to email an HEIC picture and someone doesn't have a Mac and they're not receiving that file on a Mac computer, they're gonna have issues with it. So if it's a Windows computer, they might have issues. So, real easy step. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop. Just hit create new. Doesn't matter, create, could be just whatever, just get here. Here we're gonna go to file, scripts, image processor, and pretty much in this settings, we're in our image processor tab. And here you're gonna go ahead and click the settings where you want to where you want to save the files, where you want um, Photoshop to look for the files, um, and the type that you want it to be saved as. So step number one right here, select folder. So I'll go to our downloads because we left it there. Well, let's actually create a new folder real quick. We'll just type in uh, H-E-I-C tutorial folder and we'll save all the photos in there. Now we'll click on here, select folder, go we'll right back to that, our hard drive. then you won't click any of the actual file types, you just click the folder. That's an important thing to know. You can't even select any of the files. You can only select a folder type. And then the save location. So you can choose a different save location or you can just choose the same exact place. What I like to do is in the folder that I already have up, the one that's gonna be referenced with all the files, in that same exact folder, or at least like really close next to it, I'll just go ahead and click new folder and put JPEG. Converts. So then I know that all the all the photos that are in that um, that are in that folder to begin with are then being converted and saved in that same exact folder, but a subfolder as a JPEG. Click open, and then here in step number three, you got your file type. Obviously, you want to save as a JPEG. Quality, um, you can click. You know, it has to be anywhere between 1 and 12. So I type 99, a ridiculous number just to show you real quick. But uh, 12 is pretty much the max quality with 1 being the lowest. I'm not exactly sure why they chose that, but they just did. And after that, number 4 is just sort of a preferences. Um, I don't really usually mess around with this. I just pretty much click run once I'm done with this. And we'll see Photoshop pretty much just do all the work. Hands off. Do your thing, Photoshop. Do your thing. No hands. And there. And Photoshop has now successfully converted all your files, all these HIC files, into JPEG files. And now you can upload them email them, use them as regularly, and not have that HEIC compatibility issue. So, once again, my name is Josue, and this has been another life-saving tip. Oh, maybe it didn't save your life, but uh, if this was helpful, please leave me a like, um, comment down below uh, if, this, if you found this to be useful and if you used it for anything. Once again, my name is Josue, and I live in Chicago, the greatest city in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.